up guys it's number srt we're here with my friend tyrell what's up we're about to do a review on his uh 2023 versus 2019 which uh didn't really change a lot but there is little stuff that changed so you want to tell me something about your 2023 yeah this is my 2023 helki red eye jailbreak this is the last combustion one they made for 2023 um, but yeah, um, I did a few things to it. I did an intake on it and also did the Demon Hood. I really like the Demon 170. Uh, everyone knows the markup on those cars are kind of outrageous, but I just like the way they look. So I have the Demon Hood for it. And also having the uh, exhaust, the Borlet Tack exhaust. Yeah, and the intake. Yeah, the JLT one. Sounds insane. <laughs> we'll probably put some uh, little uh, pulls later. See how it sounds compared to this one. The stock one still sounds good, but with the L aftermarket one, the the wine is insane, insane. So for mine, it's literally like the same thing. It's just 797 versus 807 now. Yeah, they um the gel brakes they kind of recalibrated the powertrain to for it to stay in the power band longer. So it kind of gave it about 10 horsepower, which it's not noticeable, but I guess. <laughs> yeah, and the hood. Yeah. We got two of the, the snorkels and it's functional too. So all the air goes into the intake and then both of them have uh, the, like the tube inlet for the, the light. Inlet, yeah. So you can get all the air into it. And then there's another one here on the other side, but it's kind of blocked, but I think they did it on purpose. So a lot of debris doesn't go in there because there's no use in that. Yeah. That's where alternators are, like a little yeah. bit on the... So you'll probably like get a bunch of dirt if you take it off. Yeah. So don't take it off. Uh, another thing, it's uh, the wheels. The wheels are a little different. Um, I don't know, if, what, what are they called? Uh, they're called carbon black lightweights. Okay. I believe that's what they call them. Or carbon I'm not sure about this one, the name of these, but... Oh, and then also too, the, the Hellcats are different. The emblems. This one's more like a, a darker color. And this is a, a like a black chrome. Yeah, chrome. Yeah. Also, mine's on bags. So it's, a, so it's making his car look like a uh, off-roading car. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he'll keep it like that because he won't do bags. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of like a OEM Plus person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But a lot of people say that you can't race with bags, but I've been racing with bags. It, it did get a little heavier because we compared it with a, a non-wide body Hellcat Red Eye. And I think you got me by half a car. But yeah, we're gonna do the exhaust in a little bit. So we'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to show you the interior of my 23 Red Eye Jailbreak. So a lot of the stuff that Nambo has on his Red Eye, I could get on mine as an option, but you can kind of customize them differently for the jailbreaks. For this car, um, for I think 2020 they started doing this, it's kind of like a leather, almost like a leather rubber um, material, like a side panel on the doors. It's also on the dash as well. So it's kind of like a leather material, it's more smoother, more premium for the newer models. But yeah, and then um, for this car, I had the full Laguna leather seats. And also have the red seat bolts. And then also the carbon fiber bezels. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. This and they are pretty expensive if you don't get them back to your option. If you try to get them after market, you're looking at close to $1,000 per piece. And also like the suede, suede headliner as well. Also a new option. Yeah. I, can, I like the smell of the new car, so yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. Well, I, I can show you right now, but inside of them. So, 
When these cars start up, they're pretty much the same. I'm just gonna go and run, but not on mode. So on these cars, the power on them changed a little bit. And also the Uconnect layout on the screens changed. So we're gonna some eco, I could put it in track, and there's 807. You go on the SRT dashboard, the layout's a little bit different than the newer model, or the older models. There's like more stuff to display, you have the chiller options. So for the 2019s, they do not have a separate chiller option mode that lets you toggle it on its own. It would have to be in track mode for it to even turn on. Whereas the newer red eyes, you can do them manually. So for mine guys, the Uconnect is a little different the setup. is. You put um, SRT mode, we just go straight to that one. The 2023 is a little different. We got custom, which is 797 versus the other one, the 807. And um, for race options and all that, it's a little, it's another page, which I think is more convenient for the 2023 because it comes with the uh, the page already with everything set up to it but yeah it's similar but a lot of a lot of little things changed so yeah and then the, the trim right here too the bezels um they're different the other one's carbon fiber and this one looks like a fake one <laughs> but yeah that's the dash too 220 on both of them God, you're fun, man. done with the review um, with my buddy uh, Tyrell and his uh, Challenger Red Eye. So, you know, yeah, uh, so the cars look pretty much similar. <laughs> yeah. Other than a few subtle differences. So between the first gen and last gen Red Eye, can't go wrong with But yeah, um, don't forget to uh, subscribe at Nambo SRT, like, share, and comment. We'll see you guys on the next one.